Hi, today I want to show you a hidden feature in Lucy to startup listeners. We have two kind of listeners. First, the server CFC that is called when the server start and exists only once. Then we have the web CFC that it can exist for every single web context on your server. So when you have 100 web contacts, you can have 100 web CFCs. First, we go into, in a, this is a regular Lucy installation. There we go in the Lucy server directory. In there, you find the context directory. And in there, you have, the again, a context directory. In that context directory that only has the admin directory for you, you create a file that is called server CFC, like here. In there, we make, that's a very simple CFC. You only have one function that is called on server start. And if that function, that component exists and has that function, Lucy will call it. And the only thing I do here is a system output that writes to the console of the system. So, and we just write server context so that we see it was triggered, but we do nothing else. When we now start up Lucy, We see here the server context output, so Lucy triggered that function. The second function, the second component is the web CFC. For that we have to go, um, I stop Lucy in the meantime. For that we go into the web context or in a web context. And there we find the webinf directory. Inside that directory, we have the Lucy directory. And in there, we have again the context directory. And in there, we create the web CFC that will not exist in your installation. So you make the web CFC. And that looks very similar to the server CFC. It has one function called on web start. So we have on server start in the server CFC and on web start in the web CFC. That function has what can have one argument that is reload that indicates if the web context is, is a new startup of the server or only the web context was reloaded. So you see when you do a reload, you have that true, otherwise you have false. So let's see how that works. When I start again, Lucy, You see here we have the server context and the web context. So both listeners get triggered by Lucy. And the server context always get triggered first and the all web context after that. And we see it's not a reload, so it is false. We now go um, to the admin and I make any change, a change in the admin uh, reloads that web context so that, for example, when you do change compiler setting, that in there has has influence on everything. So web context gets reloaded in our case. So I make here a simple change. I update the char set. So when I go back to the console, you see the web context get triggered or the web CFC get triggered and this time it's a reload. So I don't have the server context re triggered again, only the web context. That is just the beginning. Like I said, it, in the future we will have also a stop method. Of course, stop is difficult when you simply, like well, like I do now, when I simply kill the, the, the service that way, on stop is never triggered because there is no event happening inside Java, but when you uh, gracefully stop the server, you get it will be triggered. That is something that will follow in the future. Um, I hope this video was helpful to you. Have a good one.